Hello all, welcome to part 66 of Python tutorial. In this session, I am going to show you the complete list of data types in Python. So let's get started. In Python, there are several data types. Okay, this is the complete list of data types that are available in Python, starting from string, int, float, complex, list, double, range, dictionary, set, frozen set, boolean, bytes, byte array and memory view. These are the complete list of data types that are present in Python. So all the data types in Python can be categorized into several categories like text type, okay? Coming to the text type, we have string data type, okay? And coming to the numeric data type, we have int, float and complex data type. Coming to the sequence type, we have list, tuple and range. Coming to the mapping type, we have dictionary data type. Coming to the set type category, we have set and frozen set. Coming to the Boolean type category, we have bool data type, Boolean data type. Coming to the binary type category, we have bytes, byte array, memory view data types. So far guys, uh, till the previous sessions, I have covered most of the data types that are listed down here. For example, str is already covered. Int float complex is already covered as part of the previous session. List tuple and range data types are also covered as part of the previous session. Dictionary is covered, set is covered, but frozen set is not covered. Now let me practically demonstrate this frozen set for you. Before that, let me compare the set with frozen set. So what is the difference between this uh, set data type and frozen set data type? Set data type and frozen set data type. The only difference between this uh, set and frozen set data type are is, okay, set data type is mutable. That means updatable. You can add after creating the set of values, okay? After creating the set, you can add more values into the set. You can modify the values in the set and all those stuff you can do because it is mutable. Coming to the frozen set, it's immutable, guys. This is a major difference, okay? When compared with set and frozen set, set is mutable, frozen set is immutable. There's a major difference, okay? That's the only difference, guys, okay? You cannot update here once created. Let me practically demonstrate this set and frozen set for you and compare the set and frozen set. So for that, guys, I'll create a variable says and uh, into that I'll store a set. Okay, how to create a set in uh, Python? Just provide the curly braces. Inside the curly braces, provide a list of values. Okay, let's say four values I'm adding. So now if I say print of type of yes, what will be printed in the output? Data type of this variable s will be printed. That's set, guys. Okay, because I'm storing a set into the variable, right? So set data type will be printed in the output. Okay, set data type will be printed into the output. Now, if I try to can I can I modify these elements once created? Can I modify this set? Yes, you can add, you can add, modify, you can do whatever it is. Okay, set is mutable, guys. Okay, as explained here, set is mutable. So what I can do is I can say s dot add of. I'm adding one more element to this particular set. Already four elements are there. I'm adding one more element. Let's say I'll try to add six, guys. Okay, nine is already there, right? So I'll add six. So apart from nine one five, I'm adding one more value because set is mutable. It will accept the modifications. Okay, now so before before adding, let me print guys. Let me print this set. Print s, okay. And after adding this, also let me print s, okay. You'll see the difference. So before adding this uh, six to this particular set, four four values will be there. Nine one five seven in the set. After adding this uh, extra element in the set, new element in the set, you will get five elements, okay. Done this. Set is mutable, guys. It's updatable. You see, original set was like this, and modified set is like this, okay. You have added one more element here, okay. So six came here, you see, nine, one, five, seven, one, five, nine, seven, six. Six is a new element that got added to the set, okay? So sets are mutable. But coming to the frozen set, it's immutable, guys. So how to convert this normal set into the frozen set? For that, guys, you have to, have to write something known as frozen set, provide circular brackets. Inside this frozen set, provide this set this becomes a frozen set. If I if I print the type of S now, this variable type, data type, if I want to know, if I say type of S now, it will print frozen set in the output. Instead of the set, this S will be printed as, data type of the S will be printed as frozen set. And uh, after that, guys, if you print S, it will print, but this addition is not possible. Modification of the frozen set is not possible because frozen set is immutable. Run this code. You see, first of all, it has printed the type of the variable s as frozen set and uh, here we have printed the frozen set also frozen set 9517 but when i try to add a new element into this particular frozen set since frozen set is immutable you cannot update it 
you see we got an error saying attribute error so add is not possible because add is not there you cannot modify right frozen sets are immutable okay that's why add addition add add function you cannot use with the frozen set guys because it is immutable so guys that's all about the set and frozen set okay as part of this session i covered the frozen set data type also so almost all data types are covered boolean data type is also covered as part of the previous sessions and coming to the binary type guys we generally don't use this uh, binary data type uh, data types like bytes byte array and memory view we generally don't use okay so I'll, i'm not going to demonstrate this for you so almost all data types are covered for you in this python series so including frozen set now right so guys uh, that's all about the complete list of data types in python okay we have the different category of data types like text type numeric type sequence type mapping type set type boolean type and binary type and have also demonstrated practically demonstrated what is frozen set and how it is different from the set data type in python so that's it guys thank you bye